In this video, we're going to go over one of the most common custom control libraries out there, although a lot of people still don't know about it. It's the Controls FX Custom Control Library. I'm going to show you how to download that and run the sample application that they have, and then we'll go over how to import the Controls FX Library into your application and start using their controls. Let's get started. So for actually downloading the Controls FX library, you'll see that their GitHub is the first result here in Google. So we'll click on that. And if you scroll down in their GitHub repo, you'll see they actually have some quick links for downloading. And we're going to go ahead and download the Java 8 version. And then we'll show you how to use that in our application. So this is where you would download it from, and the next steps will show you how to import it into the app. So now I've extracted the controls FX, and I'm going to show you how to run this sample application. You do need Java version, Java 8 update 40 or greater in order to run this, but we have uh, java.jar, and then we're going to do controls and the sample and this is going to bring up an application with a example of all the different control types that they have implemented as custom controls and I'm not going to go through them all I just wanted to show you what this application was and how to explore it the next part of this video I'm going to take one of these controls and I'm going to show you how to import it in your application and begin using it in your code. So now I'm going to show you how to import the controls FX libraries into your application and begin using them. For IntelliJ here, we need to go to our project structure and we need to go to modules. Make sure you're on the dependencies tab. You'll see here we have our um, SDK version loaded and we're going to want to add a new jar and what we'll do is we'll navigate to where our controls FX jar has been downloaded and extracted and you're going to import this you'll see now once we apply this this is um, controls FX will show up in our external libraries and you can take a quick look and see that the controls are in fact here and we're going to go ahead and import them for use so we'll do import impl uh, org and we'll just go ahead and import all of them for now the one that i'm going to show you how to use as an example is one of my favorites which is actually the toggle switch so it is a toggle switch now one thing i do want to notice um, you'll know that i normally advocate for creating controls in the fxml However, the Controls FX custom controls do not play nicely with Scene Builder, not uh, with the Glue On Scene Builder. So, if you are interested in loading your FXML files in the Scene Builder and you add these custom controls in the FXML files, Scene Builder will no longer load that FXML file. So, in this particular case, for the Controls FX custom controls, I actually will load them in the controller class. So that's what we're going to do today. So continuing on here, we have a new toggle switch. And we'll just give it some text here. And we'll add it to our existing control, uh, which is our button box. This is just a really... Um, simple example to show you how to use these custom controls. Please do explore the uh, variety of controls that they have through their sample application and see what all they have in there. There's quite a lot. I'm not going to go over them all in this, app, um, this tutorial. I just want to give you a feel for how to load them and use them. Um, but there's some really great options there that you don't have to reinvent the wheel for your um, you can go ahead and take advantage of what they have created for us so here is an example of their toggle switch it's just a different type of radio button basically 
And that's all that I wanted to show you today about the Controls FX libraries.